Hi friends, it's Sarah from RuffelsAndRainDates.com and today I'm going to be making a wine bottle gnome. He's super fun, he's super cute. If you'd like to make him, just boop, <laughs> stick around. As always, please give this video a like so that I know you're here crafting with me. So here you can see I used to have him up in a windowsill on my, uh, in my kitchen in Seattle. Uh, there's some really fun accents. We're going to start with a wine bottle. You can use a regular style or you can use a decorative style. You're just going to build it a little higher up. I'm going to be using chalk paint because it really covers a sponge dauber, um, any kind of nose or any style nose. I'm going to be using a wood ball. And then I'm going to be using Mongolian fur. This is a white fur scrap. I went to the craft store and got some paper flowers, and so I'll be using those as well. You can take a... Uh, razor or an exacto knife and scrape off the front I chose not to protect your surface this is a silicone mat and then we're just going to start laying on the paint now I am NOT going to show you the 45 minutes that it took me to do this but here's what I did I just laid on a light coat before I moved on I added a second coat I added a third coat all the way around the base you can see it coming together here I just kept adding very very light um, layers and what I found is when I do that there's less chipping there is less um, sticky feeling I don't know how to explain it but this is how I cover glass with non glass paint and it works every time so I dropped it on the floor right there but I'm gonna cover that up with the beard so I'm good with that speaking of the beard I'm just gonna cut a few inches wide you can do four inches you can do six inches and I just made a rectangle um, I'm gonna use up this scrap because this was made back in in April or May of last year uh, so I can't exactly remember the size but it's gonna depend on your bottle and your liking so just to get that I just pop it on there make sure I get what I want and then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna turn down the very top quarter to half inch of this entire piece so making sure our faux fur pile is pointing down I'm just gonna glue this down all the way across the front now why I'm going to do this is because it's going to hide that raw edge and it's just going to make it a lot more just sort of finished. All right, so I'm also going to add on a little mustache. This part is optional. If you've been here, this is my favorite way to make a mustache out of faux fur. You can make one that bends. All you have to do is grab a rectangle of faux fur, pop in a wire. You can see I'm just cutting mine a little bit shorter here to fit my beard there you go so you're just going to pop in a wire with some hot glue and then you're going to fold the two pieces into the center so I'm not going to show you all of that but it's basically just glue it and then pop each of these two edges into the center I don't have a wire in mind but again the wire is really fun because you can bend and mold your um Mustache is really fun. I like it. Okay, so now that we're gonna have that in place I do recommend you brushing it out from the center for it to just look a little bit more like a mustache So all I did is fold it in half I found the center and I'm just gonna brush the fur either edge towards either edge And then that gives me a nice little mustache. We're gonna put the glued portion at the back and we're gonna set that all aside because I do recommend you seal these. So chalk paint will eventually chip off, especially if you pack these away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Liquitex. It's a varnish that makes it sort of glossy. It's a beautiful varnish, but it is a little expensive. So if you don't have that on hand, use a polyurethane spray or use Mod Podge. Just a couple of coats of that. Try and use um, larger brush strokes that go all in one direction. And then I'm just gonna hit that with a heat gun. And here's what it looks like. So you can see it's a very smooth finish and there's my big whoopsie in the middle that I'm gonna cover. But I really like this method of painting glass. All right, so new manicure because I put this down and kind of forgot about it uh, <laughs> as we were packing up to move. So. I have my beard, I have my mustache, any size wood ball you want. I'm gonna use a three quarter inch. And then I have these little paper flowers. And I'm also gonna go to my craft stash and get some ribbon. Yep, that's me throwing it over my shoulder just to get out a couple of different, you know, 
simple. Um, I have a buffalo check, I have a stripe, I have a plain gray, and I have a thin white that I'm just going to layer. Now, I think that when you have something really simple like this, you can bring in a little extra fun up here. So I'm just going to layer a gray, a stripe, and a white, and then that's going to just be tied all together. I am going to secure this down with glue because you've got a really slippery surface with that bottle, and I want this to stay up at the top. So just a couple of knots here, and then and we are going to decorate however you want. Like this is just a simple idea. I would love to see somebody do these for Christmas. If you all want to make these, if you have a wine bottle hanging around, I would love to see your designs for Christmas. I am about to get started. It's technically October. I'm going to get started with my Christmas soon because I'm still unpacking that craft room in the new house in Texas. And well, uh, hopefully we'll start on Christmas crafts pretty soon. So I'm going to line up my beard so that it just kisses the bottom of that bottle. I don't want a lot of overhang on the table with this one, but I do want to cover up that big little whoopsie that I had when I literally dropped this off my entire craft table onto the floor. All right, so as with anything hot glue, we're going to make sure that we don't get hot glue into that faux fur. It's a little bit of a bear to get out. So I'm just going to glue down the top edge first to make sure it's positioned where I want it. I'm going to glue down the sides and then I'm going to glue down all of the corners. Again, hot gluing faux fur is pretty easy. Um, you can use E6000 if you're going to store this. So just combine E6000 and um, hot glue. Just don't use a lot of E6000. You don't want that to seep through. So as you can see, I brushed up the very, very top of the faux fur on the beard, added a good portion of hot glue, and I'm going to press my wood bead down. Underneath that, I'm going to add hot glue to the back edge of the mustache we made, just a good bit that will go up under the nose right here and press that in. Let it dry, and then you can just brush everything down. You can have a little bit of hair over the nose uh, coming straight out or to the side like I've done here. All right, so I had a little corner up here. Just make sure that the, all the edges are down because that's like a fail point. Once I had that all glued down, I'm going to glue down the front and the back of my ribbon. Just again, I wanted mine to stay up at the very top because my my wine bottle had a bit of a lip, added a couple of more flowers, and then I'm going to dovetail the edges of all of these ribbons. Now, as you saw, they are Dollar Tree ribbon, and because of that, I'm always going to burn them as well. So just get your craft lighter and just dovetail and burn all of them. You can see I'm going to glue down the tails of the ribbon edges as well because I wanted everything to stay put. Here's the old craft room and here's our finished <laughs> wine bottle gnome. Let me know in the comments section, what do you think of him? Super quick, super fun. Please like, please share, and please subscribe to this channel for more crafty fun.